Hey everybody, Shane here from GimmeAct.com. Here we are today in Moto Rotor MC, and we are going for every single achievement in the game. So once you start up the game, you should be greeted with this menu. Make sure you go to Start Game. It's going to ask you to press the back button in order to actually get into the game, so make sure you do so. The game is going to be a pastiche of a PC Engine or Turbo Graphics game. So once you get to the title screen, you're going to press Start, which is going to be the equivalent of Run. Now, in regards to the achievements, there is basically going to be an achievement for starting every level in the game. So the best way to go for all of the achievements is to pick a game mode where you can actually select your level. So the best one for that is going to be Time Attack. Make sure you go to Course Select, and then you're going to get a list of all of the maps. There's going to be a total of 25 of them. Now, once you are on this screen, you can actually do another big time saver. What you can do is you can hit the back button and then make sure you make a save state. And the reason for that is you are able to just load up from the level select rather than having to reset the game every time. So pick your map. We're going to start out with the first one under circuit. That's going to kick you back to this menu to start the game. Which one do you want to go to time attack? And then that should load you in to the course. You should get the achievement just for starting up the level. You are going to have to drive around for a bit in order for it to count. So just make sure you drive until it unlocks. Every single achievement in this game is going to be worth 40 gamer score. So a total of 25 courses. 40 gamer score each is going to count for the thousand. So all you do is just make sure you do this for every single course. Now to use our little save state shortcut, you want to hit the back button after you get your achievement, go to load game and then just load up that save state you made. Then just select the subsequent level that you are working on and then just make sure you do the same thing. Make sure you pick time attack. Once you get kicked back to the main menu, you should start the new level, drive around for a bit until you unlock the next achievement and then just keep repeating until you get through all 25 courses. So utilizing this little save state trick should allow you to get every single achievement in about 12 to 15 minutes as well as your completion.
All right, here we are on our last course. This one's going to be Special 5, which is going to be the 25th and final course if you've been doing them in order. This one's going to be known as Dungeon. Start it up and then drive around a bit like the rest of them, and then you should be given your last achievement for 40 gamer score. That should be all 25 achievements, 40 gamer score apiece, 1,000 gamer score total, and your completion. Hope you enjoyed the guide, and that's all there is to it.